Well, hello on YouTube. I'm back with another update. I'm just passing my old marker 160. Sun is getting ready to go down. So I will be hiking a little bit into the evening here. I still have another six and a half more miles to go to my lodging. There was a wide gap between where I stayed last night and there really is nothing for 25 miles. So yeah, I still have six and a half more to cover here. But they are going to have dinner cooked for me when I get there, it seems like. And so we'll see. I've got bed and breakfast. I got older 7.30, 8, between 7 and 8 o'clock. So at least she has an idea when I'm going to get there. And then that will put me just 10 miles shy of Jefferson City, Missouri, was my destination for this walk. So I just have to get through the next six miles here. I have to pretend my legs are made of iron. So last night I stayed in the town of Rocheport and schoolhouse bed and breakfast very clean modern room it was very cold last night got down to probably the upper 20s but today it warmed up considerably And skies have been sunny most of the day, all day. So after a frosty start, it got very warm, almost warm enough for me to shed my jacket. And for most of the day, the trail has been lined with bluffs, such as what you see here, but even bigger than this, many spots. And the river on this side, Missouri River, some spots but right along the trail, actually. And there were many bicyclists out today using the trail due to the nice weather. Whereas in previous days, I did not see any on this trail. So it feels like it's going to be a much milder night tonight. It's very comfortable out. It must be about in the upper 50s at the moment. It's not really cooling down much.
and then we'll see tomorrow um, if I take the train back from Jefferson City. It depends if my truck is done or not tomorrow or when it's going to actually be done. Given that I've done 25 miles today, even if I don't end the walk tomorrow, I am probably going to stay in Jefferson City before resuming and give my legs a bit of a break. So the bed and breakfast is right off the trail between midway between 153 and 154. So yeah, I've got about six more miles yet here to cover. Probably about three more hours of hiking ahead of me if I include breaks. which I will need to take, given the miles my legs have already covered today. <laughs> 